Hello everybody, my name is Cyberwolf and welcome back to Butterfly Soup. When we last set off, uh, we had uh, we had played a bit as Noel, and now we are Akarsha. So let's see how fun this can be in the life of Akarsha. Hey, I'm here. Hello, Dia, homie. Dia is crawling on her hands and knees in the in the bushes. What are you doing? Caught him. She catch a frog. Uh, Dia emerges from the bush with a caterpillar in her hands. It's fat and striped. Ew! Dia turns to face her because she's deaf in one ear. Uh, when she stands up straight, she actually faces slight. She actually faces slightly to the right. Wait, who's deaf? Don't be rude. Is Dia slightly deaf? Uh, we should give him a name. Um. <laughs> Miles Tails Edgeworth. What kind of name is that? It's a character from Ace Attorney Games. It's a it's hella gay. You should play it. You say that like I'd be interested just because it's gay. You're not? Good gay stuff is hard to come by. Dia scrutinizes Miles Tails Edgeworth as he inches closer her palm. You're so invested in these kinds of things, video games and stuff. They're a form of escapism. I need obsessions to distract me from the crushing emptiness and hopelessness of life. Just kidding. <laughs> Dia scoops the caterpillar into her other hand. Did you hear the news? Obama won. Yes, we can. Yeah, but they outlawed gay marriage. They did? Prop 8 passed. I thought we were better than that. You shouldn't be surprised. There were a lot of yellow wearing uh, guys. Don't even know. Uh, don't even have to ask my parents what they voted. I know. But the thing is, it used to be legal. We used to be better. It's not just that the world sucks. The world sucks, and it's getting worse. Obama, though. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Miles tells Edgeworth is crawling up Dia's arm now. Gross. That's so shallow. He has a good heart. Don't yellow and black stripes normally mean it's poisonous? Calip caterpillars are only poisonous if you eat them. Not dangerous if they're nice. Or, not dangerous if you're nice. Dia carefully returns the caterpillar to a tree branch. Ready to go? Dia nods. Akarsha. Yeah? Never mind. What the? Alright, don't know what that was about. We went ahead and got changed. It feels like we're a real team now, wearing the same uniform. We've still got some time to kill before the meeting starts. Um, I guess a good idea would be to talk to her new bestie, Min. Min has textbook <laughs> has a textbook in her lap. She's flipping it to a chapter review page. Are you doing your homework? That's weirdly studious of you. I told my parents I joined a tutoring club. Oh, lol. Funny, so did I. What? What did you? Uh, what do you need tutoring for? I told them I was the tutor. That's perfect. You can tutor men then. Match made in heaven. Match made in hell. I don't want her help. As she says it, though, she's staring down at the page with a uh, desolate expression. Math should just die. Why? It's a discipline full of beautiful and complex patterns. There's absolutely nothing inherently bad or oppressive about it, yet people treat it like it's evil and malicious. A lot of pure math la a lot of pure math lacks any kind of practical application and merely exists for the sake of stimulating people's minds and pushing the limits of the medium as far as it as as far as is possible. It's much like a form of art. Can't relate. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Dude, let me see it. I'll help you. Problem one. Bill can paint a house in five hours. Mary can paint a house in three hours. How long will it take them to paint a house together? Uh, eight hours. Five plus three is eight. Oh. Oh, man. <laughs> Are you gonna be okay at this school? <laughs> 
Min is solving a professor's cube. Unlike a regular Rubik's cube, it's 5x5x5 five by five by five instead of 3x3x3. Three by three by three. Oh, damn, Dia! Got them muscles. Uh, Dia's face lightens up when she spots it. I solved one side for you already. Took me two hours. Dia proudly points to the cube. Indeed, one face is solid red. I see. I'm pretty sure that doesn't help at all. Sure enough, Noel completely obliterates Dia's work in order to solve the cube correctly. Wow, you make it look easy. Did I help? Of course. I appreciate it. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to Dia. Dia's on the bench, resting her head on Min's shoulder. Aww. She's, so, she's showing Min a picture of a seagull, uh, of a seagull, her cell phone. Uh, one side of the photo is blurry brown from Dia's thumb partially obscuring the camera lens. Look how close I got to the seagull. That's pretty close. Um, do I have to talk to them again? Would you kiss a girl for one million dollars? I guess. I don't have that kind of money though. What? No, I'm saying you get paid. Huh? Never mind. Okay. Noelle peels a banana and takes a bite out of it. What the hell are you doing? Aren't you taking the banana sticker off? Why would I? It comes off with the peel anyways. Taking the sticker off first would be completely pointless. So you just eat it with the sticker still on? Yes, it doesn't have any effect on the inside of the banana. The fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> you, you're not human. How am I not human? <laughs> Jesus Christ, life is so hard. Any words of wisdom, Dia? Snowflakes are actually really, really small. Not like you would think from Christmas decorations. Uh, how big did you think they were? Like the size of a plate? Wow, you must have been crazy disappointed when you discovered the truth. Any other advice? Uh, you can make Nutella sandwiches and eat them. If you do this three times a day, you'll have three meals for like a $1.50. Thanks. <laughs> the locker room door creaks open. When Noelle sees Krissa and Liz come through, she lifts her hand to wave, uh, but aborts halfway through the motion. Scowling, she jerks the off, uh, offending appendage back down, like her hand got, like her hand had gone and betrayed the rest of her body. Jesus Christ. I'm so sorry, I cannot read this morning. Like, I just woke up not too long ago, and I'm still pretty tired. What? Nothing. Hey guys, we have a few announcements to make. First of all, Min, uh, you need to resubmit your parental submission form for the club. And this time, please have a real parental gui guardian sign it. I don't know what you're talking about. She forged it? How can you tell? The signature was just the word mom in cursive. <laughs> Fuck. Oh my god, Min! <laughs> Min is running away. Chris gets up and chases after her. There's nowhere to run. You dumb kid. God, I fucking love this. It sounds an awful lot like Min ran into a door again. <coughs> <coughs> Everyone else's form looks fine, though. So, good job, guys. If you forged it too, I couldn't tell. Whew. <laughs> Chris has returned dragging a defeated men behind her. Next up, <clears throat> we're playing against an actual team today. What? Who? We invited the team at Niles over. They should be here soon. Are we going to Are we going to be okay? Our team is made up of four baseball players, two nerds, and three weebs. Wait, did you count me as a nerd? I'm a hybrid. I'm a weeb too. Guys, we'll be fine. Maybe. The maybe was too honest. Don't worry, it's seriously super casual. They aren't bringing their coaches or anything. It's just nine of them driving over in their cars. Just relax and have fun. This isn't really important, but they have a cool mascot. It's Killer Whales. What's our team name? Do we get a mascot too? Read your damn shirt. It's Monarchs. <laughs> That's so bland. But we're not really an official school team, so we can make a name up ourselves. Oh. Any suggestions? Bagels. 
The way you think is so damn cute. <laughs> Chicken nuggets. Bagel's too simple. I kind of like it. And bagels is so simple. I kind of like it. Yeah, I'd honestly be okay if it ended up like that. Any other suggestions? We should be something stronger than killer whales to assert our dominance. Monarchs are already more powerful than killer whales, though. Humans keep killer whales in captivity. But if it was like 1v1, a killer whale would tear a guy to shreds. We should do- we should be something bigger and more dangerous. Like what? Global warming? Oh my god, that's actually a hilarious name. No matter who we're up against, they'll pretty much just automatically lose. Like, tigers versus global warming? Who do you think's gonna win? Our motto can be, <laughs> underestimate us and the world will be destroyed. That's not a very positive motto. I'm still kind of impressed Noel came up with that. What kind of name did you think I'd come up with? I don't know. Something nerdy that you thought sounded cool, but was actually really cringy. Like, the algorithms. The calculus. Yuck. I feel like throwing up. Shut up, I never suggested that! And I don't like global warming. It's not threatening enough. <laughs> How is it not threatening enough? It's irreversible and will devastate generations to come. But it's not a thing, like a real thing. Are you saying you don't believe in global warming? She means it's like an abstract concept. Yeah. We should be something that sounds like it could rip our enemies from limb to limb. Like, Death Machine. Are we forming a heavy metal band? Death Bagels. That's better, I think? Death Bagels is dramatically cuter, but Min is too pleased with Dia combined... Uh, Death Bagels is dramatically cuter, but Min is too pleased that Dia combined their suggestions to complain. Wait, I just thought of a name too. Semis. No. Wh what is that? In Yaoi, the semi is the dominant guy in the couple. What is Yaoi? Oh, Liz. You don't want to know. Usually only teen girls who like anime <laughs> know what it means, so maybe that's good. Most normal people will be totally oblivious. Yeah, the only reason Noelle knows is because I corrupted her. Let me reiterate that this is a bad idea. We're going to have to make up a fake definition when our parents ask what it means. Worth. <laughs> Who's that worth it? Okay, we'll settle this the fair way. <coughs> Which is a vote. Everyone, write your vote down on a piece of paper. Akarsha votes for? Oh, there's so many. Must be the Death Bagels. Krista tallies up the votes. The winner is... Death Bagels! Yeah! Name status? Sick. The Death Bagels head out on the field. The other team is on their way. They're parking right now. Let's stretch and warm up first. They arrange in a huge circle and begin stretching like usual. Focus on your breathing and calm your mind. Suddenly, Noel whirls around, looking frantic. Noel, get with the program. Be a Zen master. Where's Dia? Uh, she didn't follow us out? Indeed, no, Dia is nowhere in sight. Hmm. Holy shit, she's so quiet I didn't even notice she was gone. Min is missing too. Uh-oh. Oh my god. They're doing it. That's impossible! Min told me she was going to the bathroom on the way out. But that was like 15 minutes ago. She should be back by now. Maybe they got left behind in the locker room? Ah! What? Nothing, I was just randomly screaming. Looks like Dia and Min aren't here. And the girls' bathroom is empty. Hmm. We should split up and search for them. Did they ditch? Did they ditch the team? No, I've watched enough TV to know where this is going. We'll get picked up. Uh, we'll get picked off one by one. What is this? A horror movie? The killer whales will be here any minute. We don't have time to comb the school so- Okay, I thought she was gonna be saying that ominously. We don't have time to comb the school slowly together. Besides, we already lost the, the main problem child. The rest of them aren't the type of to just randomly wander off like this. That's true. Fine. Disperse death bagels. <laughs> Meet back on the field in 10 minutes, whether you find them or not. Roger that. 
Noelle is holding the door open for people as they exit the uh, locker room. She smiles as Akarsha comes closer. I can't stand here all day. You're cut off. <laughs> Noelle lets the door close in Akarsha's face. Oh my god! <laughs> Noelle is waiting for Akarsha outside. Meanie. Where should we look? I don't know. If it was just Dia, I'd have guesses. But it's likely Min... Uh, Minseo forced her to go somewhere. You realize Dia is like a foot taller and 100 pounds heavier than Min, right? Min can't force Dia to do anything. If she took her somewhere, it's because Dia let her. Fine, force was too strong of a word. Coerced. Dude, chill. You're so neurotic when it comes to Dia. Can't you just trust her judgment? In, cart in kindergarten, I asked Dia what she wanted to be when she grew up, and she answered, a police dog. Not gonna lie, I probably would have answered the same question. <laughs> or I probably would have answered with the same answer if I was in kindergarten. Well, it was kindergarten. Even in kindergarten, I understood that becoming another species wasn't an option. Hey, hey! I loved the fuck out of Animorphs. That was my shit. I would have dreamed to be able to become a police dog growing up <laughs> if, when I grew up. Um... Okay, so we got the library, the bathroom, um, the locker room again, and the courtyard. So, I mean, we they already we were just in the locker room and they weren't there, and they had already said the bathroom is empty, so I kind of doubt they're going to be in the library, so let's go to the courtyard. Oh god, there's more places to look. Um, look at poster? Poster says, reduce stress. <laughs> How exactly do they expect us to do that? Not go to school? Get rid of our parents? Uh, check the bush. Oh my god, I don't believe it. What? This is, this is a bush. I never would have guessed. <laughs> Fascinating. <laughs> Let's keep staying at this instead of doing something more useful. Um, go to the classrooms? Look at your reflection. Akarsha admires her own reflection in the window. I hate myself, but in a fun way where I'll still check myself out. Dead me. <laughs> uh, search the auditorium. It's dead quiet in here. If I farted, <laughs> you can hear it from a mile away. <laughs> Please don't. Yell something. <laughs> Akarsha's streaking echoes in the empty hall for several seconds. Wow, the acoustics in here are great. I realize there's nothing I can do to prevent you from doing this, so I will wait outside and pretend not to know you. Noelle leaves the auditorium. <laughs> so scary! <laughs> Me boxing, stressed out. Stop asking about college. Stop asking about majors in my career. Stop asking about my future. I don't know, okay? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not good at anything. I'm a fraud. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not that smart. I'm so afraid of failure that everything I do has to be funny. Because if I'm not serious, it's not like I was really trying. I'm so unhappy. Good thing I disguise it as a series of jokes so no one notices the gaping chasm of darkness I live on the edge of. <laughs> I want to die. Kill me. Jesus Christ. Oh, we found her. What are you doing? What? <laughs> Where are you? Uh, why are you here? Weren't you supposed to be going to the bathroom? I was. There's a family bathroom over there. She points to the door at the far end of the auditorium. Okay. Anyone can use it. It doesn't matter whether you're a boy or a girl. Right. Right. Min looks relieved that Akarsha left the top. Let the topic drop. So where's Dia? How should I know? Isn't she with the rest of the guys? Uh, never mind then. Were you serious about that dying stuff? Nah, man. I never actually. I'm. I'd never actively try to off myself. I'm more like, if I was crossing the street and a car came barreling toward me, I'm not sure I'd get out of the way. Then I'll hit the car out of the way. <laughs> You'll hit it? What? With my own car. I'll ram it into. <laughs> I'll ram into the one driving toward you. Your car'll get crushed. No, it won't. My car will be stronger. You think I'm gonna own some weak, uh, weak, shrimpy-ass car? 
The other car is as good as dead. <laughs> She's serious. She deadass tried to save me by crashing into another car. Min looks relieved that she made a car should laugh. She's holding an emo Linkin Park skateboard under, under one arm. Wanna learn how to skateboard? Those aren't allowed at school, you know. Schools are made to be broken. Uh, excuse me. Uh, are you a square or a triangle? I'm pretty sure that's not how the saying goes. Min placed her skateboard on, on the floor. Here, I'll show you something cool. Is she gonna do a kickflip? Hold on to me. I got you. But don't make this weird. Don't make this weird. Weird shit. Ah! <laughs> what did I just see, you useless hoe? <laughs> Fuck, dude. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> Min managed to stand on the skateboard with the car shot on her shoulders. Man, there's got to be some way I can, uh... Oh, man. Okay, okay. I'm gonna save it. I don't know if this is gonna change anything, but I need to take a screen cap of this. Um... Damn it, I... Oh, crap. I didn't mean to press that. Damn it, I... I need... I need, like, a thing to, like, I, I just want to take a screen cap of this with, like, none of the text. God, this is so perfect. Min managed to stand on the skateboard with the car shit on her shoulders. We're so <laughs> flying. Something, something, breaking free. <laughs> I haven't watched High School Musical. I don't know the rest of the lyrics. It's okay. Let's just keep repeating that one line. We're soaring, flying. I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. Oh my god, she's wearing alien sunglasses. We're soaring, flying. <coughs> Jesus Christ, feel better now? Yeah, I'm fine. I needed that. Akarsha's eyes are filling up with tears. Time to make a joke. You know what the economy needs? Three bills. They should put my face on it. Min ribs her in the arm. You suck. Mean? Akarsha ribs her back. Hey. Oops, that was a bit harder than I expected. Min hits her back harder. Akarsha retaliates by <laughs> by spitting on her own knuckles. My punches inflict poison damage now. <laughs> it turned into a fist fight. Hearing signs of violence, Noel has <laughs> run back into the auditorium. Krissa, look what they're doing! Men, come back to the field with me. Uh, Krissa drags uh, men off, leaving Akarsha and Noel behind. Okay. Um, Akarsha goes into the family bathroom. Unlike the regular ones, there's only one stall. It's so clean. Where's the pee on the toilet seat? Where's the poo and blood stains like, the girl, like in the girls' bathroom? It must be this pristine because no one else knows about it. This is heaven. No wonder Min uses it. Um, Bad memories looking at this now. I was an idiot. If you're waiting for me to disagree, <laughs> we're going to be here all day. Okay, so... I guess... Let's go back to the courtyard. And let's go to the classrooms? Oh wait, we were just there. Okay, so let's go back to the locker room entrances, and let's go to the library. Noelle looks incredibly amused. Why the library? You think Min is going to read a book? We've already found Min, though. Doesn't hurt to be thorough, right? Karsha squeaks the door open. The book scanner alarm goes off. Everyone in the library turns to look at her. Holy shit! A weird shriek. Karsha panics and bolts back out the door. Okay. Whew. Good thing no one chased after us. <laughs> what even just happened? I don't know. How odd. I don't even have any books in my backpack. Why did it go off? Maybe it was a fluke. You should try again. No thanks. I bet she put a sticker on her back. Okay, I guess we're going back to the locker room. Um... Search the track? 
Hey, that's... Okay, I'm glad we finally found her. Dia's sprinting around the track at top speed. Yo, Dia! She can't hear us from here. Once Dia rounds a bend, Noel and Akarsha flag her down. She completely, She's completely drenched in sweat. What are you doing? I got nervous, so I ran three miles. Feel better now? Feel better now. Uh, okay. Why didn't you say anything? Dia looks at her as though she's crazy. Stressful. I don't like to bother people. Dude, you know that that not, com that not communicating just makes most situations even more stressful, right? You should go back to the diamond. That, that way Chris and Liz will know where you are. Dia nods and trots off. Uh, we found both of them. Yes. Once again, I'm a hero. You're not a hero. Let's head back to the field, too. Alright. Um, I guess let's head back to the baseball diamond. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and end it off here. Um, so... Well... First off, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to make this one just like a little bit shorter than most of the other videos, but uh, I have to go to work soon and I don't have a whole lot of time to edit this and have it uploading in time. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a like, please share with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe on your mount. This is Cyberwolf, signing off.